Good morning and welcome to a daily dose of good news on Friday, March the 26th. It's good to be with you. Uh, for our good news today, I'm actually going to invite your participation, if you would, and if you're interested. Um, we're going to read from Psalm 119, verses 1 to 2, and then 19 to 29. It's a wonderful psalm of praise uh, that is ben of benefit in hearing, but of speaking as well. So I'm going to invite, if you'd like, to read it along in unison with me. I know it can seem a little weird um, talking to a computer screen, but I want to assure you that as I'm reading it through the first time here, I'm imagining all of you out there coming across it at some point this day and seeing your faces in and out of my mind. I'll also be praying for you throughout the day and wondering if now's the time somebody might be out there uh, taking a look and, and reading along with me. Uh, just one way we might manifest the community we have to enjoy here at Holy Trinity over the course of this day in the midst of the daily dose of good news that, that God gives to us. And if following along is um, uh, more suitable for you, that is absolutely great as well. I look forward to having you do that also. So here is Psalm 118, verses 1 to 2 and 19 to 29. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Here ends the reading. And now I'd like to expound on our daily dose of good news today with a, a hymn. It's a hymn, again, that I used last night for our faith enrichment conversation around our ministries at a time of death here at Holy Trinity and the consideration of uh, perhaps uh, building a columbarium where people might inter ashes of themselves or loved ones from the congregation. If you're interested in that, you can find the link to stream it on the uh, printed version of this devotion today. It's also out on our uh, YouTube webpage, Engaged by Grace. The hymn that I'd like to share with you this morning is O Day Full of Grace, which artfully gives thanks to the Lord who is good, whose steadfast love endures forever. From that day full of grace, when the world was created with first light, to the day full of grace, when the world will be redeem redeemed with Christ in his resurrection and all the days of grace in between as we realize God's mercy and love through Christ Jesus our Lord. Here again, I'd invite you to sing or hum along as well. If you like, it can do a soul good. Oh, day full of grace.
Would you pray with me, please? O oh God of grace, we give you thanks for this day, filled again with the grace that you shower upon us, and ask that you be with us, joining us for the opportunities and challenges we have to reflect your grace with those we share this life around us. We pray especially for those enduring special challenges amidst the pandemic, for those uh, that are sick, for those that are caring for them, for those that are in need of work or food or shelter. We pray that we may be instruments of peace in their lives the way you bring peace to ours. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Look forward to uh, seeing you either in person or online through our Holy Week events to come. We'll be in person for worship on Sunday at 9.30. We'll be live streaming daily doses of good news at 10.30, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, Monday, Thursday, we'll have services at 10.30 in the morning and 7 in the evening. That's in person. We'll live stream the 7 o'clock service as well. Friday, we'll have uh, live and in stream, live streamed and in-person services at 7 o'clock. Uh, Saturday will be the do-it-yourself um, labyrinth walk. Instructions will be coming out for that next week for a walk you might take in a park or your own neighborhood. And then Easter Sunday, we'll be worshiping at 8, 9, 30, and 11. 8 and 11 will be in person inside. 8 o'clock will also be live streamed and then available the rest of the day. 9.30 will be on the front lawn, weather permitting. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.